Hi everyone. So in this video we'll talk about creating registers and registers are kind of like variables. So let's go ahead and create a register. The way to do it is to use the word reg and then just give a name for the register. So I'll give the name A. So I've now created a register and now let's add an initial uh, block here. So I do initial begin and end and let's say in this video we'll try and print within an always block we'll try and print we'll try and do a equals not a and then we'll just display our register a so let's add a delay here let's say a delay of one time unit and once again i do uh, a display here which says start and I add a finish after a delay of 10 so I do a finish here and I probably forgot to mention in uh, the previous videos but these begin and end could be treated if you've done programming in other languages before you could just treat them like braces so this is my opening brace and this is my closing brace they just mark the beginning and end of an initial block or an always block so let's go ahead and try this program and I have an error here because I forgot the dollar sign before this display so let's try it now and the reason I'm getting these X's here uh, all of them are X's is because I haven't initialized A to anything so in my register originally it doesn't uh, contain anything so it just contains a cross there so here let's just do an A equals 0 first so that A actually contains something at the onset of my program sorry this should probably be in my begin so here I add an A equals 0 and let's try it again and this time as you can see it gives me 1010 zero, zero and so on so this is working fine and we'll look at something called wires in our next video but I just want you to know that a register as a general rule can store values whereas wires cannot think of them like actual wires in a digital circuit so in that case a wire cannot actually contain a value it cannot store a value so we'll look at those in the next video i'll see you there